I'm sure you've heard the old saying, when life serves you lemons, the best thing to do is serve lemonade. And here's one of Roy's folks who has done just that. This old guy's pretty interesting. Jim Light is partial to pirates and collects pirate paraphernalia. Army hearties, yes indeed. Mm, which coat shall it be today, mate? The red it will be. But Jim's not just a collector, he really is a pirate. <whistles> Complete with a parrot? And yes, a peg leg. You would not believe children and adults alike, the majority, don't believe the peg leg is real. They want to know, where do you put the leg? How do you do that? It is real. Jim lost his leg in a motorcycle accident. Before the accident, he was in construction, but afterwards, Please it was magic. Well, Roy, magic is something all ages can enjoy, from the young to the young at heart. He has incorporated the pirate persona into an act. Well, grab it up, grab a magic wand, stir up the magic, and push on that little red ball till it goes through the cup. Just You're going to have to help me with the card trick. Right. In his act, he incorporates a message of hope and so perseverance. Magic, a magic message you just got to believe. Since the tragedy of losing a leg, he discovered Captain Jim's buried treasure. Yeah. I believe it's always been lurking inside of me, this pirate character. And, you know, after about three or four years of doing this, I realized this, this has to have been my fate. It must be magic. My destiny. The pirate act and the magic. And I went back and looked at my name, Jim. You know, all of our names mean something. And J-I-M. I realize that stands for Jim is magic. So Jim Light became Captain Jim and set forth on a voyage, not on a ship, but what he calls a land yacht. Fair winds me hearties from Captain Jim. Roy Ackland, Fox 8 News. Captain, Captain Jim performs regularly at various local restaurants, and you can find out more at his website, captainjimismagic.com, 